Hello and welcome to another budget and leg it video. Sorted. Now what we're going to do today with this motor, this uh, Skoda, can you fix it? We're going to do a manual compression test. Sorted. Now let's go and do it and see what it shows. Right, before I get started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the injectors. Obviously take off the uh, plugs. So basically we need to stop this from starting before we can actually do our test on it. So disconnect the injectors. I'm going to take off the plugs anyway and also disconnect your coil packs. Don't just take them off. Don't just take them out because what will happen is the power is still going to these coils and if there's nowhere for it to go, you can actually blow them up. So physically disconnect them as well as connect them from the spark plug. So I'm going to do all that. Once I've done that, we'll set the compression test up and we'll see what this three-cylinder 1.2 baby can produce. Okay, so I've disconnected the injectors because we don't want fuel squirting in. I've disconnected the uh, coil packs. I've put them up here in order so I know which order they go in. But I'm also going to leave the spark plugs in order. And you'll see why for another video. And what we're going to do is whip out the spark plugs and we're going to do a compression test. And what we're going to use for that is the Universal Digital Pressure Tester Master Kit from Hobby Tools. And then we're going to... Well, we'll just see what results we get. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, mm, lovely. Right, what we need for this particular one is we need the 0 to 300 bar pressure transducer. We need the uh, spark plug adapter and we also need the little Schrader valve connection and obviously the actual unit itself. That's what we're going to use. Right, the first thing I'm going to do with this wire, because you, when you get it, it comes with like a cable tie-in, I'm going to put one of these wire um, straps on, because it's just so much easier to Velcro it back together without it springing all over the place. Right, so here's our setup. We have the machine. We have our adapter with the valve on the top, so that screws down to our spark plug. Then the pressure transducer clips onto that, and then this wire clips onto the machine. Simple as that, sorted. Right, so we've got our plugs with our coils, so we know which order they go in, which is going to be important for a later video. Now, it's always good to actually take the plugs out when you're doing a compression test, because if you've got a, you know, the head gasket's gone in a weird way and it's leaking between the two cylinders, and it's leaking into one and you've got the plug in, plugging the compression up. So that's always a good thing to do. What we're going to do now is, you can see down there, they all look the same. We are going to put our foot fully on the throttle, turn our engine, and we're going to see what comes up on here. So what we need to do first is turn this on, and you can see all the options we have. I will be doing a full review on this, um, but we're going to go for the top one first. We're going to go for the compression, but you can see exactly what it can do. Right, so the specs on this engine is 11 minimum PSI to 17 and no more of a 3 PSI difference between the cylinders. So that's the spec we're looking for. All we do, put this down the hole, turn it. There really is nothing to it. Put our pressure transducer on the top. Trying to do it through cameras a bit awkward. Go into our compression, 300 bar, because it even tells us what sensor we need. Now this is auto ranging, so it'll, it'll automatically go through all the ranges for me, and it will save all the cylinders. So in other words, once I've done cylinder one, all I do is press next, it'll go to cylinder two, cylinder three, and so on, and then just reset to actually get back to the top. So it saves it all for you, which is really good. Right, what we'll do, foot fully down on the throttle, turn the key. And there we go, 13.8. I'm gonna move it now to cylinder two, which is the dodgy cylinder, or it's the cylinder that the scan tool's saying we have an issue with. So, what do you think it's gonna read? Foot on the throttle. Yeah. 
look at that practically the same and remember we're allowed a three bar uh, difference between the two or between any cylinder in this particular model so our first cylinder and our second cylinder are absolutely bang on let's go to number three right foot on the throttle again and there we go cylinder number three out the three is the worst but still well well within spec of everything so 100% we haven't got a compression problem sorted just for shits and giggles I just turned it around a few more times and we got to 13.5 but I mean it's well well within spec three bar between the between any cylinder we're allowed right so there we go that's uh, a compression test with the new hubby tools uh, pressure tester now I will be doing like I said a full video on that but as you can see nice clear simple easy what more do you want we can also save the results for our uh, own future reference or we can save them for the customer or whatever you want to do but we now know 100% because we've done a relative compression test and now a manual compression test we now know that our compression in the engine is absolutely 100% fine we also know that our injectors are good so what i'm going to do for the next video which is a very good suggestion well actually find out what i'm going to do for the next video you'll have to stay tuned sorted so look hope it helps please like share comment and subscribe as always links up here links down below but most importantly don't forget get your hands dirty see you for the next one sorted and look that's why i do it i can just bang that back in there now it's never going to get twangled up it's going to be sorted for the next time Yes, twangle is a word, by the way. It's a word I made up, but it's a word, right?